Okay, I wanted to show my uh, current setup a little bit. Um, so, so these are the 580 Lightning Editions from MSI. Um, both really good cards. Uh, the dual 8-pin eight, um, eight PCI um, Express power. I have a 1000 watt uh, OCZ Fatality. I just I really liked the um, sleeving that came with the you know power supply, and it was you know gold uh, power rating, so that was good. Um, still running the 2600K um, at 4.6 gigahertz, and the eight gigabytes of uh, G Skill 2133 uh, DDR3 RAM. Um, I put in a few <laughs> extra things. Um, I got it in these uh, new Roswell, uh, or not Silverlight, excuse me, fans that are the 140 millimeter, like 38 mil thick. So they're quite a bit thicker than the normal ones. You can turn them on high to be like 100 and I think it's 163 CFM, which is crazy. So I just kind of replaced all my 120 millimeter fans with those because um, they have the 120 millimeter mounting. But I also added one right here that kind of just pulls air from the front and just blows it over the video cards. Um, I just mounted that myself with some uh, double two-sided tape. And I added one in my um, my little bay for my uh, CD-ROMs because I don't use that space so I did that so just it pulls air over the CPU so my, my case has pretty good airflow um, <laughs> the problem is it has so much intake that it acts as a dust filter so about every week I have to clean out the dust filters in this thing and just blow it all out um, I got one down here too um, for the bottom anyway that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take out the 580s. I already have uh, some scores of my 580s in Sly on 3 Mark 2011 and the new 3D Mark. Um, I don't know why they didn't call it 3D Mark 2013, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to first. So right now these are running in uh, PCIe 2.0. Uh, 8x because my this way my motherboard is um, if you just have two video cards it'll run an 8x native for both of them and if I move this sound card up to the top slot where this one is in and then move these down um, it'll run these in a yeah, 16x but with the NF200 <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in both the car. I'm gonna put in 1780, and see like what kind of uh, speeds I get with the 2.0 16x. And then I'm going to put in the second 780, but not run them in Sly, just so this one runs 8x. And I'm gonna do a comparison between to see if there is a bottleneck between 16x and 8x 2.0. Um, I, I believe there will be. Um, Right now, I don't think that the 700 series or the Titan can fully utilize the bandwidth of PCIe 3.0, but it might be able to for 2.0 now. Well, I've seen videos showing the difference between 3.0 and 2.0 with the 780s, and they were like within margin of error. So um, I'm going to see if the 780s are different. And then you can also see with the running an 8x like of basically a fourth of the bandwidth of PCIe 3.0 as 16x so alright I'll put those in and I'll show you what they look like in my system oh yeah and the reason why I have them in this configuration is so you know there's more air between the cards right here um, so both the cards run pretty cool this you know this sound card does make the bottom one a little bit warmer but not really that much because and I really think with the cooler design of these uh, 780s I have I don't think this is going to do anything because the cooler is going to be pretty much where this one is and 
it'll just be sucking air from right there, blowing it out of the back. So I think it actually might work in my favor to do it like this in the new system as well. Alright, so I got the one of the 780s in. Um, let me go ahead and do tests with this right now. Um, yeah, so we'll see what uh, 1780 with my setup scores on 3D Mark 2011 and 3D Mark 2013. I'm just going to call it the new one. Alright, thanks. So I did want to show you the 580 Lightning, di lightning Editions. Um, really good looking card. I really like the look of them. I did, well, I just told you. Um, really beefy. Like It's a custom PCB. Um, just freaking massive. I might use one of them and sell the other one. Um, oh, also, one thing I was going to do, I forgot to mention, well, I did it at the beginning of the video. Um, so I'll also run them in 2x or uh, Sly 16x using the you know, NF200. Um, let's see what kind of scores we get there as well. Um, and then I'm going to run some games that require um, PhysX. I'm going to use one of my 580s for a dedicated, dedicated PhysX um, and see how much that helps um, the game. I really, I've really been interested in seeing that myself. So um, I think a 580 will do just fine at uh, being a dedicated PhysX card. And then just let the other two cards you know, run, run SLI. So I'll do like Arkham, Batman, Arkham City, um, Metro 2033, I believe, I don't know, um, anyway, there will be a couple games that require physics that I'll show you, anyway, thanks. Okay, so I got the 780 in right now, um, pretty much have everything at stock speeds, I'm not going to overclock it right now, um, you can see the GPU-Z, you know, 780, uh, running a PCIe 2.0, um, the Core i7 2600K at 4.6 gigahertz, um, and the memory is at 2133 at 911928. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do 3D Mark 2011. 3D Mark 11, and yeah, it's from the bench part. Let me close this up. I don't know. Anyway, I'll, I guess I'll show you guys what the uh, frame rates are in. Anyway. Thousand six megahertz for the core. All right. So I got almost twelve thousand for one seven eighty. That is pretty good. <laughs> um, you can see the details here. Oh, I'll show you right here. Um, the graphics score is twelve thousand five thirty three. Physics score was. 10,824. Um, so that's really close to what my two 580s get, just stock. Um, <coughs> so that's pretty good. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in the other card and I'll let you guys know. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to show you my other results real quick. So this is the, the highest score I could get with my two 580s. Um, they're 580 Lightning Editions, now they have 
one and a half gigs of RAM. <coughs> they were at 950 megahertz for the core, 21 megahertz for the memory, and that was um, at 1.106 volts. So I had, I had to push it up 100 millivolts to get to that uh, speed. Even and when I pushed it any higher, it really didn't do anything. Uh, I mean, it just made it more unstable. So this was the max uh, overclock I could get in that card. Um, the same exact specs for the CPU and the RAM. So <clears throat> that's what I was able to get with it overclocked as high as I could. 13662. Um, I wonder if I have the unclocked version. And this is what I got with one 580 um, at that s at stock speed. I got 7,347. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and run Fire Strike as well. And this is what I was able to get with my two 580s. Um, 8,007. So I'm going to go ahead and run the 3D Mark 2013 right now and I'll show you guys that. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and run uh, th the new 3D Mark. Um, you can just unclick this include demo. Anyway, I'm just going to run Fire Strike because that's really all that matters for PCs. Um, so. Let's see what the score is. Oh, that is pretty surprising actually. 8,512. I guess they released a, an update from the last time that I ran the 580s that gave you a better score. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll have to run this again with my 580s and see what I get. So I could be a little more accurate. Okay, so I'm putting back in my 580s because I wanted to test out the update for the 3D Mark 2013. Apparently, they they updated it, uh, made it so like dual GPUs got a little bit better score, and significant increase with three or four cards. And that's because if you had three or four cards, they wouldn't work. So apparently, they fixed it. But um, I just want to see what the difference is between 1.0 and 1.1 okay okay so I just ran the uh, 3D Mark 2013 the 1.1 version and I was able to get 87.25 with my 580s so it's slightly better than one of my 580 or 780s so yeah <laughs> so there. The old score I got, which is right here, uh, 8,007, oh, right there. Those were with two 580s. So that was with the old version 1.0. Alright, and here's what they look like with two of them in there. As you can see, like I thought, the uh, fan was just going to be right there, so I don't really think it's going to restrict the... Uh, you know, the amount of air going into the cooler. The top one might run a little hotter just because, you know, there's less space now, but I think it should still be good. So, alright. So, I have the slide bridge hooked up, but I'm not going to activate the slide off the bat. So, uh, anyway, you'll see in a second. Okay, so I have both of the GPUs in now. Um, I don't have SLI running. You can see this is disabled. Um, so it's running an 8x right, or uh, x8 for one of the cards. So I, we're going to see if 
And this is also PCIe 2.0, so we're going to see if that affects the cards much. Alright, so it's just about to finish up. Um, it's at 1006 right now, so I think I should get a higher score this time. Uh, we'll see if it's over 12,000. Yep, 12,201. So that is almost identical. Yeah, it's my second run at 16x. From what I can tell, at least on this benchmark, running at uh, 16x or 8x, uh, PCIe 2.0 still does not affect the performance. You can see it's 12 201, and the second run I got, this was running at 8, 16x, is 12 265. So that's, that's definitely within margin of error, just 64 points. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and run the other three mark and see what kind of results we get there. I'm going to... So if you watched any of my last movies, you can probably tell this is a totally different setup. Um, the last movie I made was a little over two years ago. So I have moved since then. I uh, bought a house not very far, far away from that one I was at. Um, so this is my new room, basically. I really like having this monitor here to watch movies. <laughs> Staying around 993, 10.06. So we shall see what kind of score we get. So 8.463. I think that's pretty close to the first one I ran. Um, I think that one did run a bit more aggressively because my computer wasn't on that long. But, you know, it could be wrong. But anyway, um, you know, four, eight, eight, four, six, three, eight, five, one, two. So that's within, you know, 40 points. I'm going to say that running at 8x, just even at PCIe 2.0, doesn't really affect the performance that much. Maybe a, maybe one or two percent at the most. It, you know, it, I probably won't do much different in games either. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and enable SLI and see what kind of scores we get there. Yeah, 